Hello friends, in this video, I will try to answer some questions around what is SAP EHS. If you are from non-EHS background or non-IT background, how you can learn about it and what are some uh, reference points or what are the some study materials that you can use. I will try to address uh, those questions in this video. Now I am Samrit, I have more than 15 years of experience and uh, I believe as sustainability professionals or EHS professionals we can uh, contribute to this world in a very positive way and we can really make a difference. So to start with, uh, what is SAP EHS or what is EHS? EHS stands for Environment, Health and Safety. Not long ago, we uh, encountered COVID-19. Before 2020, it was almost non-existent. But beginning of 2020, we faced a massive impact and then most of the places around the world were impacted and a lot of lives were lost and the businesses were struggling to keep their employees safe, their businesses running and it was a very difficult journey in last couple of years and we, we all, of, all of us have seen that. Now because of this COVID-19, uh, there is a lot of significance or a lot of focus now given on sustainability right so that means it's a great sign uh, for any sustainability professional and I, i'm really glad that you're considering to be part of this journey and positively contribute in this uh, in this uh, movement now for any organization ehs plays a very very critical role now, in order to track uh, the performance of the organization in terms of EHS metrics, there are various softwares available. SAP is one of the tools, right? Now, there are many other tools those are available in the market. Uh, uh, for example, Sphera, Enablon, IntelliX. So, those are some of the prominent solution providers in EHS. But in this video, we'll only talk about SAP EHS and in, in the future videos, I'll try to cover some of the other solutions those are available in the market. Now SAP has uh, a broad range of uh, products to cater to different EHS needs of, uh, of any organization. So primarily SAP has divided its uh, SAP EHS portfolio into two different parts. The first one is called EHSM, it stands for Environment Health Safety Management and then other one is called classic EHS right so broadly two categories now I'm going to show one uh, uh, slide and it, you'll be able to refer to it easily under EHSM uh, there are five different products which SAP offers one is incident management health and safety management Alternatively, it is also known as risk assessment, then environment management, management of change, and then audit management. So these are the five different solutions. Those are under uh, EHSM, and SAP also has another solution, which is uh, which can be purchased separate, which requires a separate license called occupational health, right? To track track the health of the employees or the contractors working in the organization that solution can be used. So these are some, some of the solutions, these are the solutions under EHSM stack. Then under, uh, under the other track which is called classic EHS, under that again we have different solutions, product safety, dangerous goods management, product compliance, substance volume tracking and global level management. So these are the solutions which are under classic EHS and recently SAP has introduced a uh, new product under a new umbrella. Uh, given the impact of climate change uh, and given the significance of climate change I would say, uh, he has introduced a program called Climate 21 that means the challenges of 21st century and that's how they have named the, uh, the this segment as Climate 21. Under that they have released a new product, Product Footprint Management. right? Uh, so, so broadly two categories but recently SAP has introduced a new category 
right so these are the range of products sap offers under ehs umbrella i hope it is now clear that what sap offers if you have any questions you can put it into your comments i'll try to answer those now the next question comes so if sap has so many solutions then where do you start now some of you might have already gone to some training institutes got yourself trained in some of these modules when i take some interview of uh, some candidates and uh, mostly freshers then i see that uh, under experience summary they have written uh, experience of about all the modules which i just now mentioned right it clearly shows that uh, you have undergone a training right because you do not have relevant experience now tell me one thing when you go for a training you will be promised to uh, undergo certain training in say 30 to 40 hours right and uh, the instructor is supposed to cover all the topics in uh, in in say 30 to 40 hours and if if you think the instructor is going to cover 10 different modules in 30 to 40 hours so that means you are spending just 3 to 4 hours max in each topic do you think it is sufficient for you to grab a completely new concept in such a short period of time so instead of focusing on 10 different subjects 10 different modules what you, what i would strongly recommend that you focus on only one choose one module out of those 10 modules what i mentioned and try to understand the basics of that try to spend some time on that now if you are new to sap if you are new to it it world or if you are new to ehs it's going to take you some time to to understand the basics and i have as i have told you earlier you're not going to work alone you are going to work with different teams you are going to work with business you are going to work with a technical team or the infrastructure team so to have that basics right to have that foundation strong so you focus only one subject once you have that confidence then you can take that confidence you can take that knowledge to other other topics right so start with one you can choose say uh, product safety or incident management or whichever subject you you think uh, uh, would be in line with whatever you already know right So choose one and then build on that so the third but the most important thing if you are already working in any organization if you are already working in any ehs department or safety department of of an organization try to learn the processes if you are already using a tool if you are already using a software try to learn that software properly now what we have to get that the processes would remain the same the software might be different the underlying technology might be different the processes are not going to change drastically so if you have a good understanding over the process then you would be able to apply that knowledge when you learn the technology make sense so while you are working on the job while you are studying about sap while you are working try to understand try to understand what exactly you are doing how so the work you are currently doing try to understand how does it fit into the larger picture of uh, your organization how the job you are doing it is fitting into the larger vision of sustainability for your organization or what is the goal of the organization towards which the organization is working and how you can contribute towards that right and i have all, i have told in the beginning it's a journey now don't think from a limited perspective that you just have to learn a tool so that you can get a job rather think that if you are an ehs consultant how you can transform the processes how you can work with the business to help them to fine tune their processes make it better and tool uh, any software is just an enabler a software is not going to solve a problem there are thousands of projects are being implemented every every year but you just are not using it right so that means software is not the only thing that is required for successful uh, implementation or success success of a project there are so many different aspects and as an ehs consultant it's your responsibility to understand different nuances of the project right 
so to summarize i will uh, uh, reiterate three things the first thing is that uh, try to learn one module first okay don't focus on 10 focus on only one and then master it second give yourself some time give a time frame of minimum 4 to 6 months enjoy that process and the third and the most important thing if you are already in that domain you are already working on some assignment try to get the maximum value out of it i always believe if we are doing our work properly if we are giving our best at this moment at our current job we we have a very good chance that we can be successful in our next job so with that uh let me know uh, your thoughts how how did you find this video and uh, if you have some questions please put it in your comments i'll try to answer that but thank you so much stay tuned and stay inspired thank you so much